Hello friends, welcome to this series of YouTube tutorial videos on SQL Server. Myself Indronil Goswami and I have been using SQL for nearly 7 years now, so do have some expertise on this field. Today's video we will primarily concentrate on how to create databases and data tables using CSV files on SQL Server. So let us get started. So I already have SQL Server installed on my machine. But if anybody needs any help regarding installation of SQL Server, please mention it in the comments and I'll either guide you uh, in the comments itself or prepare a video on this front as well. So I've already um, installed SQL Server on my machine and I'll just open it up. Yes, so now we already have SQL Server opened up on the machine and I'll just connect it. So first thing, we are, there are databases over here. So primarily in SQL, we will be using we'll be uh, using databases, and you will be drawing insights uh, through those uh, through the data that is uh, there, and uh, and and we'll have to manipulate the data, prepare more columns, rows, and I'll be teaching all those things in subsequent lectures. So we have these uh, these databases, and right now there is just one database that I that I have myself created, which is I Goswami. So if I just uh, expand this and if I get into tables, then you will be able to see that these are the tables that I have created over here. So like mark, marks to supermarket sales, etc. So these are the tables that I can use uh, to draw insights from. And I can also uh, like manipulate the data, create more columns and uh, generally create summary out of the uh, data that we have. So how do we create a database on SQL Server? So the steps are very easy. So all we got to do is right click on databases, then select new database. And all we got to do is now name this database. So I'll name this as iGoswami2. And all I will do is click OK. So it is as simple. All I have done is just right click on databases and just created uh, this new uh, database called iGoswami2. Now, if I op if I uh, expand this and get into tables, I will see that there are no tables that I have created right now. There are there may be some system created tables, but nothing that I have created right now. Unlike in iGoswami, which is an older uh, database, and hence there are tables already uh, in it which I had created earlier. So this one doesn't have any new tables over here. So how do I create tables? So for this, I'll be using a CSV file. So this is a CSV file, there's a fake uh, data set on supermarket sales in three different cities. And I will fetch this particular uh, CSV file into SQL Server as a SQL Server uh, data set. So uh, I'll close this. Now, why do we need SQL Server? The thing is that we could have done all the data manipulation in Excel as well. But sometimes the data size would be so large. Sometimes these CSVs would be so large that it would be impossible for you to work on Excel. So that is where SQL Server comes in. So in SQL Server, uh, even though the data size can be really huge, you'll be easily able to manipulate the data, write codes uh, to create summaries out of the data much easier, uh, much easily. Uh, and the data size will not be such a big problem uh, compared to uh, Excel. So anyways, I'll quickly get started on how to create uh, data uh, tables. So all we got to do is now that we have this particular uh, uh, database created, which is iGoswami, I'll create data tables on this. So I'll just create a, uh, I'll just right click on it, then go to tasks and then go to import data. So this particular uh, dialog box sort of comes out, comes out and all you got to do is just click on next. Then we will select the data source. Now this time our data source is a flat file source, which is a CSV. So I click on flat file source. Now, where is this flat file source located on my desktop? So I'll just browse it. And I know it's there in my Google Drive. So and in my SQL Server Management Studio folder. And uh, this is a CSV file. So I'll just select CSV over here. So yeah, this is the data set uh, that, uh, that, that I was showing you earlier, the fake supermarket sales data set. So I'll just open it. So yeah, so I have specified the path and all I got to do is now uh, click on next. The format is a delimiter, it's a CSV file, so it's all proper. So I'll just click on next. And 
yeah so it's loading all right uh, the columns are in place and it's a comma delimiter so next again now what is my destination so my destination has to be sql server native client so i select it over here and the database is already i goes for me too so no challenges there i click on next again so i don't need to do any edit mappings but i'll do a preview so just uh, to see that uh, the columns are in place so uh, the column name is proper and uh, and the data is also proper over here so just a quick preview so i'll close the preview i'll click on next i'll again uh, click on next and then finally i'll finish up so yeah it says that the job is done so i should be able to see the data in the database that i have created now so I go, i'll go over here and of course uh, i'll need to refresh it so the moment i refresh it and now if i expand it then I do see dbo.supermarket sales. And if I want to have a look at the data, then all I got to do is very quickly write a small query. So select. So this is, uh, I'll get into more, uh, I'll get into the details of these SQL statements in subsequent lectures, but just uh, this time, just to have a look at the data that we have uh, imported onto SQL server. So I'll just, so this is the uh, command. So let's start from, I was mommy to this is my uh, DB name dot DBO dot supermarket sales. So it's filling it out for, uh, for me. So I'll just execute this command and yeah, well, voilà. I do have a data set on SQL Server right now. Now, this particular data set it only has 1000 rows. This is for illustration purpose, but basically, uh, the power uh, of SQL comes from the fact that even if the data size was very huge we could still very easily form or do all sorts of work on this data creating new rows columns uh, uh, manipulating the data creating summaries and drawing insights of the data very easily even if the data site was size was really really huge but that that is not something that's a big problem with excel if the data size is too high excel will start hanging and it will just become impossible for you to work so hence uh, sql server so yeah, uh, we are at the end of this first uh, lecture over here. Hopefully you have, uh, you have learned something over here. So you have learned how to create a database on SQL Server and how to uh, create a data table using CSV files onto SQL Server. In subsequent lectures, we'll get more into the coding part and uh, I'll show you how to draw insights out of this data and how to, uh, in general, manipulate the data to uh, serve your needs or the client's needs. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, the lecture. If yes, do press the like and uh, subscribe button. Thank you uh, so much.